Are we on? Lights, camera, action. Hello, I am from Edinburgh, from the Hilton Edinburgh Carlton. Um, welcome, we're very excited to be doing um, this Facebook Live. Uh, thank you to Geist for Brides for giving us this platform. It's, it's really exciting. Uh, we're going to try and have fun with it. This is our, for the hotel anyway, it's our first Facebook Live. So um, <laughs> please excuse first time nerves. Um, but yes, like I say, we're going to have fun with it. So, uh, I'm Georgina, I'm the Director of Sales for the hotel and we are reporting live and direct from the Highland Suite um, and I'd like to introduce you to Oscar Gilchrist Gr Nikki. Gr Nikki. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the Wedding Guru who is also joining us to talk about um, what he specialises in. Um, Oscar is an independent wedding planner based in Edinburgh. So we'll get on to, on to Oscar very, very soon. Um, what are we going to cover in the next 30 minutes? Um, well, obviously, we're going to introduce you to the fabulous Hilton Edinburgh Carlton, which we are now finding is a real urban wedding venue, and this is how we're trying to position ourselves. We'll give you an overview of all of our packages. We're going to give certain suppliers a shout out, and that'll give you a heads up as well in terms of who we're partnering with. We're going to tell you about our best bits. Uh, obviously, at the moment, things aren't ideal, so we have to just kind of focus in on the bits that we can show you. Um, because the situation means we're kind of curved from that respect. Um, we're going to give you a chance to win um, a, bridal, a bridal afternoon tea for up to 10 people um, with fizz. So, but what you have to do with that though is give us an inquiry. So there's always a call to action. Um, and then we'll come on to the piece with Oscar and Oscar is going to give us some, well, give you guys some uh, fantastic advice on how you can save time and also maximise your budget, which I think everybody could do with a little bit of that, especially when they're getting married. I remember that well, to be honest. So, just getting back to the hotel. So, where are we? This is the gorgeous, iconic Hilton Edinburgh Carlton, and people who are from Edinburgh may remember it as the Highland Carlton from years back. Um, the hotel itself is, we are now a four-star deluxe Hilton hotel, and location-wise, you couldn't get much more city centre than this place. We are bridging the gap, kind of literally, between the old and new towns. Uh, we're located right above Waverley Station. Um, we're on the, Royal, the corner of the Royal Mile and North Bridge. And this is one of the iconic Edinburgh buildings. Like there, There's so many of these in the, in the city, but um, in all of these buildings and hotels, Jenners, that kind of thing, they've always got a backstory. So this place used to be uh, one of Edinburgh's very first apartment stores. Did you know that, Oscar? I didn't know that. No. So there you go. A bit of interesting uh, <laughs> jargon for you. So it used to be Patrick Thompson's, or PT's as it was known. So there's lots of hidden nooks and crannies, like a lot of these buildings have. They're full of character, full of traditional features. So back to when this was the Highland Carlton, and just before it became the Hilton Edinburgh Carlton, uh, it went through a massive £20 million refurb just a few years ago literally back to the bare bones of the building. Um, and if anybody had been here in the Highland Carlton days, you, you would understand why. So the hotel really has had the most beautiful refurb um, from the ground up. Um, all of the bedrooms were refurbed, all of the function spaces, um, keeping in mind all these beautiful period features that we had to obviously enhance. Um, but it's obviously done with a modern twist. So um, we have um, 211 bedrooms here. We have standard rooms, we have deluxe rooms, exec rooms, and of course we have the all-important bridal suite. So this is where we want you to start your, your, your journey with us. You know, imagine yourself here for 24, 48 hours and what that looks like. Um, some of the highlights of the hotel, um, particularly just for your, your brides and showing off your dresses, we have the most fabulous Art Deco staircase, um, which is just off main, the main lobby, and it greets you as you come in from the street. Some of the pictures that we've had taken there are just stunning, um, which we can share as well. Some of them are already on Instagram and Facebook, and the, the previous couples have just lapped it up. So it really is such a showcase um, for the hotel. Um, getting onto the function space, so we're in the Highland Suites, absolutely gorgeous Highland Suites, and this is the largest suite of seven that we have in the hotel. This room can take 170 people for a wedding function, um, and as you can see in the background, it's been set up in two different scenarios for you, so you can get a little bit of a flavour of um, exactly what we can do. So, just to the, behind me, you can see we have a ceremony set up going on, um, and also a banquet set up. 
um, the, the room is just flooded with light. On three sides of the room, um, there's very huge windows that will give you the best views over the city, bar none. Um, we're set up one level, so we're uh, first floor from the main entrance, and that gives you great elevated views across Princess Street Gardens, which again, you know, a great place for a photo opportunity. And um, we have views up to the castle, right down to the first of floor. Um, and every bedroom in this hotel, bar none, has a view. So you really are spoiled for choice. Would you agree? <laughs> so. <laughs> Absolutely. So um, the features of this room are um, obviously the light, the views, two big ticks, capacity wise, really nice for those kind of small to medium sized weddings. Um, we have a private bar in this room, as we do in our adjacent suite, which is the Carlton, which looks and feels just like this, but it's a little bit smaller. So it's perfect for those intimate ceremonies. Um, but as I said, this is the largest of seven rooms. So we really do have a lot of choice um, in terms of you know, private dining. You might want to come the night prior to the wedding and have a lovely intimate dinner, but you don't necessarily want to be in the restaurant. There's lots of spaces for you that we can, we can provide. Also, the Carlton Suite um, is a great ceremony room and we always offer that, facilitate that as well. Um, package wise, our packages vary and we are probably one of, one of the hotels in the city that offer all-inclusive packages but they, they come with a lot of flexibility. So we have, um, we can discuss this more with Oscar because it will feed into the piece of the budget conscious. So we feel that we can really kind of um, tailor make our packages to every budget. Um, there's seasonality in there as well. And just to mention, if anybody does have a wedding inquiry, our generic email address is weddings at hiltonedinburghcarlton.com. So we'd love to see any queries that you have and obviously check availability for you. Um, but just as a brief overview, the three packages that we have, uh, our entry level packages is our all you need package. So that is, as it sounds, all you need. The next package is all you want. So slight step up, you know, you might just have a little bit extra cash that you might want to put towards certain things, enhance your flowers, enhance your, I don't know, cheer, cheer covers, that kind of thing. And then there's all you desire, and that's when you can really th throw the book at it, throw your checkbook at it. <laughs> um, so it just depends on what you're looking for, but I mean, we have a wedding planner, a dedicated wedding planner, who will be there to discuss all your options with you, really find out what it is that you're looking for, and get to the nitty gritty of it, budget being one, obviously, a big key factor. It's a big ticket item after all, um, and again, Oscar will, will nod towards that more as we go on. Um, and just to say, Cheryl, if you're watching, can't wait to get you back. She's just about to come back from her maternity leave, so um, it'll, be, it'll be fantastic to have you back soon. Um, so like I say, uh, Cheryl, when she does come back, will be there to advise you every step of the way, and it'll be like a real partnership. You know, um, There's lots of information that we can impart and help you with um, in terms of suppliers, wedding planners, all of that kind of thing. And it is something, it's a service planning, is something that we really would highly recommend. It does take the hassle out of things for you. Um, and Oscar is one of our partners, so can't recommend him enough. Thank you. Um, so with that in mind, perfect segue. Oscar, it's uh, time to bring you in. And it's, it's great to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank You've you. helped so much already. <laughs> um, so take it away. Let's discuss your time saving and budget maximization. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Georgina. Thank you very much to the team here at the hotel and Guides Provides for this fantastic opportunity. It's great bringing you know, the energy and enthusiasm and passion for weddings back into, into our wedding plan and capos. And um, I've been really looking forward to, to speaking to you today. Um, we, as Georgina has kindly um, already explained, we work quite often in partnership. Um, obviously, we've got a fantastic wedding planner, um, Cheryl, here at the hotel, who I've actually had the pleasure of working with. Um, back in the day when I worked in hotels here in Edinburgh, we had, you know, the hotel here had a beautiful refurbishment. The hotels I used to work at had refurbishments and we supported each other as well. Now that I'm working independently, I can support the team at the hotel here as well as wedding planning capos and make sure that, you know, the pressure is taken away from absolutely everyone and um, make Capos kind of point of contact on the day as well as the operational and, and planning team here at the hotel and just be that kind of gelling point for everyone. And um, the team here will provide that service, but if you are you know busy working capo and um, time poor that needs a bit more assistance beyond the venue, you know, with um, 
arranging appointments, sourcing suppliers, mediating, negotiating, then this is something that I can support with as well. So just a little introduction, we can we can obviously talk more later today as well. Fantastic. And so what advice would you give couples then on that time saving element? This is an interesting one. I mean this is a perfect timing actually for obviously looking at time and time scale timeline of wedding planning and obviously at wedding budgets as well. And mm -hmm. um, obviously we've just seen a massive influx of wedding inquiries. Um, Christmas and New Year historically is the biggest engagement season for us. We see over 40% of wedding couples get engaged over that very wonderful time of the <laughs> year as well. Um, and. There's a couple of things, you know, um, I got married, Georgina, you're married as well, um, and we, we all get into, you know, I've been in the industry for 12 years now, I've done over 600 weddings in my career, but when I got engaged four years ago now and married three years ago, um, first engagement, you get into that excitement mode and you yeah, go, right, yeah. let's get going, let's get <laughs> things organised, and this is fantastic, you should be feeling that way by all means, and I appreciate times are different now, but you want to feel excited and you want to kind of get busy organising the wedding planning as well. But a couple of things that will help you from day one to make sure that you're not wasting your time, maybe not the best word for that, but you're saving time. You know, we're all time poor in this day and age, you know, we're all full time working, busy working, so much going on, kids maybe as well, yeah. taking into consideration, there's so much to think about. So a couple of things that I would highly recommend for wedding plan couples to do is number one, set up a wedding specific email address. Such a good idea. And you know, it's it's a no-brainer very, really. it's free of charge, you know, mm -hmm. it's so easily accessible, couple of minutes set up, you're all sorted and done with, mm -hmm. and it actually makes the wedding planning um, journey a lot more streamlined because both of you will have access to it, it'll stop the kind of confusion and maybe this, um, you know, this, it, kind of um, arguments or, or you know, um, miscommunication. miscommunication, that's the word I was looking yeah. for, thank you Georgina. Um, and it gets this kind of a more seamless process in, in, the, in, the, in the wedding plan as well. Um, the other reason why obviously you would want to separate your wedding specific communication is the reason that you know we get busy inboxes as they are. You know, all the spam that we get every day, all the emails that are popping in, imagine looking for a specific information for your wedding between filtering all that information that's already there. It is stressful as it is and you want to be able to go in immediately find out what you're looking for and you're all sorted and the other thing is that you know when I first got engaged and um, my husband now George back then my fiance was making inquiries but he was doing it from his email address and then we were kind of dabbling on the amount of work because we were contacting the same people yeah. and then we sat down and said you know what actually let's have a common wedding email address made it so much easier we knew both were on the same page with everything and it just made the communication a lot easier and a lot less stressful, I would say, as well. <laughs> so there's sure. benefit to that as well. Yeah. The other thing that I would highly recommend, and it's beneficial for you specifically, but also for the venues and suppliers that you will be working with as well, you know, sit down and define your vision. And I appreciate we get straight into the mode of let's get going, let's get started, but take five minutes, sit down, glass of wine, open a glass of Prosecco and enjoy that one evening, sit down and actually decide what is your wedding, how do you see it, what's important to you guys, you know, is there particular things you like or dislike about wedding, certain things that you must have or you would want to avoid for your wedding, make a list, you know, make a list of your guests, make a list of budgets, um, I'm currently actually writing a blog about wedding budgets and estimates because you know the last thing you want to get through a stage of planning get to the point of anxiety where you're thinking where's this money coming from sure. you want to obviously make sure that you maximize the time at the beginning mm -hmm. but also the minute you define your vision it will be a lot easier for you to communicate that vision to your venues and suppliers yeah. the more information you can provide them with the less time you will be spending on your inquiries because you will be immediately able um, to get a very specific response back to you as well. The more information you give, the more information you receive and that's a lot more relevant as well. It makes life for the venues and suppliers easier, but over time you're avoiding million and one emails with million and one questions, you're avoiding phone calls that you shouldn't have to do otherwise, and when you've got that vision it just makes your life a little bit easier. Oh, absolutely. So then 
from that, so that's one element to it, and then look at the budget. How would you, how can couples maximise the budget that they're working with? This is interesting, and I think this is something that um, Cheryl, Georgina, and the team here absolutely do fantastically as well. You know, you need to be looking at your budget, and budgets, you know, weddings are big budgets. Um, wedding average spend now, according to HGK, is £35,000, wow. right? <laughs> and it varies, you know, in Scotland we're, um, we're reporting about twenty to £25,000 a wedding budget. Obviously, London has massive effect on the budgets altogether for the country, but that's still quite a bit of money. When you think about, you know, financial values, Absolutely. this is relevant to buying a car or putting a down payment on your house. You know, these are big decisions you're making as well. Absolutely. So, a couple of things that can help you maximise your budget is looking at venues. And the way you can maximise your budget is looking at venues that maybe provide all-inclusive packages. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if we're looking at exclusive views and dependent venues, they'll have a lot higher fees because obviously they've got higher expenses. They don't serve any other functions maybe. Whereas hotels, resorts will be providing, you know, spa, restaurants, bars, there's so many other functions, accommodation that you might not be able to get at independent venues. In the Edinburgh Carrollton, you know, the hotel here has got a tiered approach to packages, as Georgina has explained already, and you can get the perfect package specific to your wedding budget that's that, that way as well. But also when you're looking at venues and you're looking at all-inclusive packages, if you are flexible on your date, you might actually benefit from really good deals. Yeah. The venue here has got a fantastic winter wedding package that take care, takes care of absolutely everything and it makes your pound work a little bit harder for you as well. And I mean, you know, this applies to all the suppliers. There will be seasonality in supplies as well for um, wedding suppliers specifically. Mm -hmm. um, start of the year, um, mm -hmm. unlike this year, and possibly last year as well, you would see a lot of wedding fairs and exhibitions and open days. A lot of suppliers will be offering special deals for that season as well. So it's really good to look out for these deals and actually, you know, take advantage of them as and when you can as well. Um, and obviously 2022, um, we've obviously heard a fantastic news a couple of days ago about weddings opening up again in 2021. The numbers are still limited, but we're thinking 2022 will be well over this and can enjoy big numbers again. But the reality of that is, you know, 2020 moved to 2021 moved. We're gonna have a very busy year of weddings in 2022 three years worth of weddings. So Absolutely. when you think about it, if you're keen to get married, would you consider a winter wedding? Would you consider a midweek wedding? Would you maybe consider a Thursday? You know, a Thursday is a new Saturday, why not? You know, you can always consider these options mm -hmm. and these venues will look after you. The inclusive package that you've got here will take care of absolutely everything for you. It takes the steps away and um, you've got the catering cared for, you've got your beverages cared for, you've got the wedding planning journey cared for, menu tastings, and they've got absolutely everything cared. Like, look at this room, it's gorgeous. Like, it's everything taken care of for you. You don't need to worry about talking to caterers, you don't need to worry about hiring equipment, all here and in a city centre, perfect location for a wedding as well. I mean, just a win-win situation. Oh, absolutely, I think we're spoiled, aren't we? Absolutely, <laughs> and the couples are spoiled at the Hilton Carlton as well, absolutely. <laughs> the other thing that I would want to see on the maximising of your budget is get yourself a Pinterest board, 100%. Yeah. Because it's similar to mood boards, you know, having a, a Pinterest board helps you kind of identify what you like and maybe what you dislike about wedding. When I work with wedding planning couples, we quite often sit down, they'll give me a couple of ideas and visions, I'll put together mood boards. Two, three, four mood boards in the line, we immediately know, don't like this, we like this, we love that, we would want that immediately. We can start kind of bringing it in a little bit more and defining that vision a little bit better. But, as much as I love Pinterest and highly recommend it, like for a wedding planner or for a venue wedding planner, it's literally imperative to the success of an event nowadays to have a vision and a good visual um, for a wedding as well. But be careful. Yeah. There is a catch. There is a catch with Pinterest. You need to be very careful. You need to understand what's on Pinterest. 
might not work within your venue and um, you don't want to you know go ahead and book a supplier or or a certain element of decoration for your wedding that might not work at your venue always check with the team here always check with your wedding planner you don't want to be paying deposits and then losing them because you've not checked in advance as well and the other thing is you know pinterest is great but also have a realistic pair of glasses on you and have a look at that from that perspective as well. I mean, a massive thing that I see with couples is florals and they're a very important part of the wedding from bouquets to buttonholes to corsages to centerpieces to ceremony decorations. So important, big budget again. But, you know, with florals, they're seasonal. Here in this beautiful suite we've got here in, in the Carrollton today, and you see artificial flowers, they can also maximize your budget as well because obviously fresh flowers are very expensive. If you've got them in season, perfect. And um, one advice I would say to couples, see your venue a year before your wedding and actually see what florals are available at that season as well. Seasonal flowers will maximize your budget. You know, I had a couple getting married in October. The bride was very keen on peony roses. They're beautiful. But we know this very well. Out of season, you know, in October, <laughs> you will get them five times the price. Yeah. You know, automatically your flowers will go from this size to a little bouquet. And you want to obviously be very realistic with that approach as well. Yeah. You know, have a vision, but be flexible, speak to your florists, speak to your suppliers, your venues, and identify what's the priority for your wedding day as well. Yeah, absolutely. And hopefully that helps. Great, great tips there. Now, we talked about something else as well, which I think probably want to cover why it's important to be protected. Just explain what we mean by protected. Absolutely. And there's, again, kind of coming back to the theme of um, saving time and maximizing your budget. A couple of things that will help you with staying protected and, you know, maximizing your budget because you don't want to lose it. And also um, saving time is three things I would like to talk to you about today. So first things first, you know, wedding insurances, when they were available, they were quite often underappreciated mm -hmm. and how important they have become is actually quite significant nowadays. When these policies will become available again, you want to obviously maximize that. The one that I would highly recommend is John Lewis. And um, that, you know, over the past 12 years of my career, they were my number one recommendation and they have looked after couples during COVID times as well. So when they reopen for policies, I would highly recommend. But obviously we don't have that liberty these days. So what can you do to remain protected and not lose money? You know, you want to make sure that you're protected at all times. Pay with a credit card. That gives you additional protection as well. And hopefully that will give you that peace of mind that if something goes wrong, you've got that additional level of protection as well. You could do that for flights or a holiday, wouldn't you? Exactly. So Absolutely. why not apply it to your wedding? And you know, big purchases, even if you're if you're renovating or, or, or refurbishing a flat, you would you would pay on a credit card as well. Because Absolutely. it just gives you that additional. Okay. Um fantastic. Couple of more things and I'm just gonna wrap up. You know, look at the prices. Cheap prices, fine. But if it's too cheap to be good, there's a reason for it as well. If something is below the market value, question that. Don't always jump up the cheapest price. Ask the questions, why is that the reason? And final thing, work with recommended suppliers. This venue and myself will have million and one recommended suppliers. These people, you know, we don't like to put our name on people we don't know. We recommend these people because we've worked with them, we've tested them. You've got additional guarantee and security that way for your wedding as well. And also when you're working with recommended suppliers, quite a lot of them will offer special deals for couples working with that venue as well. Absolutely. I hope you find it Brilliant. helpful guys. Thank you, Oscar. That's great. I'm sure that'll be absolutely valuable um, kind of gambits for you going forward. Um, the next bit to come, we do want to have a wander around this room and then walk you out down our staircase as a bit of a fond farewell. But before I do that, there has to be a bit of a call to action, doesn't there? So what's in it for you guys? Well, as I mentioned before, any inquiries obviously are greatly and warmly received. Um, they should come to weddings at hiltonedinburghcarlton.com. Um, now, anybody who inquires or um, books in a show round, which I know is difficult at the moment, but we, um, we're going to just keep monitoring these guidelines closely and we want you in as soon as possible. We're absolutely desperate to see you and get people back in. Um, so what I'll say is anybody who books a show round with us, you'll automatically um, receive a lovely bottle of Prosecco, which Oscar and I are enjoying at the moment. Cheers. Life models. Cheers. <laughs> absolutely. 
Um, any bookings made um, as a result of this Facebook Live, um, and hopefully by the end of March, um, we will automatically put you into that um, uh, competition to win the bridal afternoon tea. So I think it's really worth doing, guys. Um, so next thing to be said is, Oscar is going to pick up the camera and we're going to do a little sachet out the door. Here we go. Well done, Oscar. I'm glad you're doing that. Come with me, Barry's assistant. Now, as we're wandering around, I just want to nod to Quake and Co, who have supplied the most beautiful artificial blossom trees for us today. Uh, really appreciate all the hard work from Viv and the team. Um, so please have a look. It's it's absolutely fabulous. And then going on to the tables. Um, we have some favours as well. So a friend of the hotel, Kristen Lamb, a little shout out to you. Uh, Kristen started their own business in lockdown called Unicorn Sweet Boxes. So she has brought over the cutest little um, shot size favours. Um, so quite retro. She also has a huge selection of retro sweets um, that are available um, through their website. So thank you, Kristen, for being involved in that. And we're just going to take a wee wander out to our fabulous staircase. Don't look at the roadworks over North Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> so coming into 1900 bar. Yes! So thank you so much again. Um, thank you guys for Bryce for this fantastic opportunity. Special thank you to Oscar again, Vedic Guru, Kristen from Unicorn Sweet Boxes, and to Viv and the team at Quake Co. Um, please follow us on Instagram at Hilton Carlton and also uh, facebook.com forward slash Hilton Edinburgh Carlton. Thank you so very much. <laughs>